The Salt Lake Institute of Genealogy will celebrate its silver anniversary in January 2020. Elevate your genealogical education to new heights. At SLIG, you will learn from the field's top professionals, obtain in-depth instruction, network with respected experts, consult with successful researchers, and research at the Family History Library. Registration opens July 13, 2019 at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. We've asked the course coordinator to tell us a little bit about the course to help you decide if it's the right fit for you. Certified genealogist and certified genealogical lecturer, Michael Haight, is the course coordinator for the SLIG course, Researching Like a Professional. Keep watching to learn more about his background and the course. Hi, I'm uh, Michael Haight. I am a uh, board certified genealogist and a certified genealogical lecturer. Uh, I have been uh, conducting research full time for about uh, about 10 years. I've been been doing uh, genealogy professionally for about 13. Uh, I uh, as I as I mentioned, I, I research full time and I uh, write and uh, lecture and teach extensively um, with a particular focus on uh, Maryland uh, genealogy, African American genealogy, and um, uh, genealogical methodology. How did you become interested in genealogy? Well, I um, first became interested in genealogy, and I, I actually have a, a uh, I, I have documentation to back this up. When I was about seven years old, uh, my uh, my grandmother's uh, older sister had converted to LDS, uh, I believe. Uh, in the 60s or 70s and uh, had you know be, through that had done the, the family genealogy and uh, my grandmother shared it with me when I was uh, I spent you know a lot of summers with her uh, when I was younger um, I do actually have letters with postmarks from from that time period from other older relatives where I had reached out to them and, and they'd written back uh, with information on on their other lines um, I'm probably one of the only uh, I was probably one of the only 10 year olds to own a copy of the uh, Where to Order Vital Records from the uh, uh, US Department of Health. Uh, that, some of you may remember that booklet that they, that, that they had. I, I, I want to say the version I had was in the early, was published in the early 80s. Um, so I uh, basically got hooked at a very young age and, and continued uh, to do it. Uh, well, the rest of my life, uh, I was, uh, I had the, the benefit of growing up in the Washington DC uh, area. So I was able to go to the Library of Congress and the National Archives for research um, back in high school. Uh, I would spend weekends there, you know, when I was 19, 20, spend weekends in the National Archives um, and, and just uh, took advantage of, of everything uh, as it came became available I also you know because of my age I guess uh, I got internet access fairly early um, I remember the days back in the late 90s when ancestry was first um, kind of getting getting big and they used to have a, a program where as they added new collections they would be free for that month and so I took it a lot of advantage of whatever free databases Ancestry had available online um, uh, when they were newly added and uh, you know just kept going from there. Have you had any prior SLIG experience? Well I have I never um, I never attended SLIG as a student uh, my I, I as I began really teaching at um, the national level I um, had a young daughter and just simply between, you know, time away from the family and uh, just, you know, cost, um, I, I couldn't afford to just simply travel much uh, for my own education. Uh, but I have been teaching at SLIG, I believe the first year I taught was in 2013. I taught in two courses that year. Uh, uh, one was on internet genealogy and uh, one was, um, I co-taught the writing course with uh, uh, Dr. John Coletta. The, I, let's see, I taught again with Dr. Coletta in 2014. I believe that year I also taught 
in uh, Mark Lowe's uh, Southern course uh, that year. That might be it for that year. In 2016, I taught in five different courses, I believe. Uh, that was the first year that, that my course was, was offered. I also taught in the New York course with uh, Karen Jones, the uh, Southern course with Mark Lowe, the writing course with Dr. Coletta, uh, the uh, advanced uh, research practicum, uh, uh, coordinated by Angela McGee. And I think that might be it uh, for that year. And um, I, I definitely scaled my, my schedule back to focus more, you know, on this course. So uh, I, I taught in uh, 2019 in, you know, I, we offered researching like professional um, and I also taught in uh, the African-American course with LaBrenna Garrett Nelson. What course will you be coordinating? I am coordinating uh, researching like a professional. Uh, this course uh, is, is taught by several uh, full-time professional uh, researchers. And uh, basically the way that I can, uh, the best way to describe it would be to say that we uh, attempt to teach the skills that we use as professional researchers, the, the skills that allow us to be successful in meeting our, our clients' demands. Uh, we, we attempt to teach those uh, skills in project management, um, you know, document analysis, uh, and uh, uh, reaching conclusions, you know, reliable uh, and accurate conclusions. Uh, we attempt to teach those skills to other researchers. Uh, some um, perhaps uh, may, may want to learn the skills to become professional genealogists. Others may simply want to become more effective at researching their own families. And uh, we have uh, framed the course uh, around the uh, genealogical proof standard, uh, which, which is, is kind of a, a, I guess, a fundamental um, foundation for really any type of research. You know, the, the you know, thorough uh, research into, you know, various sources, uh, reconciling, you know, correlating, you know, information between and among uh, different records, reconciling any conflicts among those records, and then reaching a conclusion, uh, a logical conclusion that um, that follows from the evidence that you gathered. And, and so we kind of frame our, our course uh, around those principles um, so that each, uh, each day, each lesson uh, builds on the one before it. Um, so that hopefully by the end you have uh, the, the skills that you need to, to be able to, to reach accurate results in your research. What are the main topics covered in the course? You know, as I mentioned, we, we focus on, on uh, the genealogical proof standard, but um, from the perspective of the practical um, processes and procedures, methodology that, that you would use to actually accomplish uh, that as, as your goal. So the first day we deal with uh, research planning uh, the second day, we talk about uh, gathering together um, documents, searching and 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 you know locating uh, different records in order to um, you know kind of glean information out of those. Uh, the third day, we talk about uh, analysis of records, both you know individual records and then uh, correlating the information to together. Um, then the uh, fourth day and, and the fifth day, we really focus on um, uh, reconciling. Well, we do talk a little bit about reconciling the uh, conflicting, any conflicts that come up, you know, during the process of analysis. But then uh, primarily we focus on the last two days with um, uh, reaching, a reaching logical conclusions and uh, reporting those conclusions uh, in a way that, um, uh, can be you know best understood and and uh, I guess you know that that's really kind of the process I guess from beginning to end from from planning all the way up to uh, reaching that final conclusion. Who would benefit the most from this course? 
I think that the course would be best for those who are looking to improve their um, understanding, their research skills, and their understanding of, uh, of genealogy standards and how those standards um, can be met and why meeting and, and, and to understand better uh, why researching with a goal of meeting the standards uh, produces, you know, the, the conclusions that you want produces reliable uh, conclusions. Uh, so that can be, you know, anyone from someone who is just uh, working on their own family, uh, you know, people who, who work with others, you know, maybe at, at librarians or um, uh, at archives, uh, you know, something, you know, something like that where, where you help out other people uh, or even those who are looking to, to build their skills up with the goal of becoming professional genealogists themselves one day. What basic knowledge should students have before taking the course? Well, we don't really talk much about specific record types. Um, you know, that's going to be different, you know, depending on, on uh, the time and place where you're researching. So uh, having a, even just a, a, a basic knowledge of the different types of records that are out there will help you best understand uh, some of the, the cases that we use as examples. Um, and allow you to kind of, uh, I guess, better uh, do the analysis. Um, I I do also have as a prerequisite that you be familiar with the at least with the concept of the genealogical proof standard, uh, because so much of the course is based around that. Uh, and uh, I believe the the prerequisite I have is to read the first chapter of uh, genealogy standards, where the the genealogical proof standard is. Uh, uh, is discussed. So, but but basically, uh, you know, this is really for intermediate uh, students, uh, those who, you know, not not beginning where you're just learning how to, you know, what are records and and and, um, you know, where do I get records from and you know that sort of thing, uh, but but more uh, where where you want to learn. Uh, what to do with those records and, and it, how to how to organize a, a, a larger um, project uh, and, and effectively evaluate the, the records that you find once you found them. What should students expect to learn by the end of the course? There's really two, I, I guess the way to look at this is, is two parts of uh, this. Uh, by the end of the week, hopefully students will um, have a better understanding of you know overall project management with the goal of of researching a problem from beginning to end um, a better understanding of uh, how to um, analyze the uh, records that you find and and you and and glean the best evidence from those you know, and, uh, you know, kind of do correlation uh, of records, you know, that, that all perhaps address the same subject matter. Um, and the benefits of, and, and hopefully, you know, students will, will understand the benefits of uh, conducting research with the, the standards in mind, um, that, that the uh, standards were not created as, you know, some kind of, of arbitrary rules by some committee somewhere, but that the the standards were extracted uh, from the 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 processes and, and from the um, the results that that uh, you know the best genealogists historically uh, have been able to to produce. You know that that. Uh, that that's why we um, that that's why we we promote genealogy standards uh, to this degree is because uh, when all is said and done, the best results come from the use of those standards, and and hopefully uh, by the end of the week uh, we will have uh, convinced 
everyone, uh, all of the students of, uh, of that fact and, and shown them how they can actually do their research, the, the, the processes that they can use to actually do research that would, uh, in fact, meet, meet standards and, and produce those reliable results. The other half of it is uh, with the homework assignments, and, and this might be maybe most uh, interesting, is, is that uh, we have homework on the first three nights um, you know, Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we do have homework assignments, and the uh, and and we go over those uh, on Friday in class. Um, the homework assignments are your own uh, is, is basically to work on your own project. So, you know, you can work on your own family, um, and it's it's applying the lessons of those first three days to kind of set up your your project in in such a way and and begin to process uh that project uh in such a way that you'll get started so by the end of the course not only will you hopefully have learned how to uh, manage a project from beginning to end you'll also have a head start on on a project of your own uh choosing what is an interesting teaser about your course uh, well, one of the uh, lessons uh, towards the end of the week and um, is, is a little bit different. I, I don't know that I've, I've ever, I don't know that I've heard it discussed in the context of genealogy very uh, often, if, if ever. But um, I, I will just say, um, I, I, I will quote one of my students from uh, this year who told me after class that that particular uh, lesson was the best overview of logical thinking that he'd ever heard. So hopefully that's, that's, a, uh, that's an interesting teaser, hopefully. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed learning about Michael Haight's SLIG course, Researching Like a Professional. Registration for SLIG courses opens July 13th, 2019. Check out the website slig.ugagenealogy.org for more information.